That nav works perfect. We'll see what happens next. Just going to wait for it to How load in. To and we'll just stop right. at the end of the road. I'm not too sure what direction it's going to take us. So let me just see. Oh, right. You know what? I'll give you the directions. Sure. Turn left for me, please. Arrive at your destination at 11.21am. Actually, can I be a bit mean? Of course. <laughs> I'm going to start your independent driving from oh. here. What does it mean? <laughs> so, we're going to follow signs. Oh no! Because the sat nav has decided not to, not to work correctly. Actually, I might try and load it one last time. But until then, at traffic lights, oh. turn left. And then follow the signs to. Let's see it's what it's going to say. Mill Hill, I believe it would say. Yeah, well, don't. They're not really looking in our direction, so. Nice exercise and caution. And it is the construction workers that usually do step out to road, just from my experience. So, yeah, please do take care of the construction workers. at your destination yeah. at 11.56am. Okay. What's the police doing? Very good question. They got a signal on there. It's nice. It's hard to see those signals and all the lights. Why are like police is behind me? Mm -hmm. And obviously there's a red light. Mm -hmm. What do I do if it's not you safe You must to not go through the red light. Okay. I wish I could give you the advice to do it. Yeah. But if we run a red light, despite you know, yeah. emergency situation, we still get a ticket, we still get penalised. Okay. So, sit patiently, wait for the green light, and then move through and try to make space. So we're always just trying to make space, but we're not allowed to run the red light. Nice little glances there. Lovely. And that's the reason why the police officers didn't have their sirens on. Why would you? Otherwise it's intimidation. They're intimidating the other drivers. Oh, really? They push through that light on okay. there. They play the sirens. Because I always see like people move, like trying to move, and you know. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There isn't a lot of cameras on the red lights, mm -hmm. but that junction has a camera on the red light actually. Okay. Um, but what I'm trying to say is just don't run the red light, don't run the risk. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you might receive six points and a fine. And you know, if you receive six points, I know I'm done. Years, <laughs> yeah. I can tell, yeah. Because every time it's slightly, not that it is now, yeah. you, you adjust your position. Yeah. And show me, tell me question time. When it's safe, would you show me how to beep your horn again? Oh, really, thank you. A lot of people get nervous about that one, but you seem to enjoy it. <laughs> it's weird. But like, okay. like deep, like if someone like is in front of me, I can. still can, yeah? yeah. What if they're going to think, oh, I'm, I'm doing something wrong? If you feel like they're very close to you, then it might distract them or start yeah. them. Just wait until okay. you get there. You see what the van is. Yeah, it's, it's far away. Yeah. Okay. So in fact, you're going to have all three of the big round Oh no, stop it. <laughs> Welcome to Mock Test Plus, where we like to give you the hardest test routes. Oh, wow. Uh, any questions, just ask. So the first one will be Mule Hill, then it will be Apex, then finally Sterling, and then we're finished. We're just going to get to Sterling and we'll finish up. Okay. All right? That's fine. That helped me, yeah?
Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, I think you'd probably be pretty decent by yourself, but like I said, please do ask me if you okay, have any sure. questions. I tend to distract people when I talk too much, so I'll try not to distract you. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A1, Watford Way. Lovely spacing from your van when I get too close. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Perfect roundabout, well done. Excellent cancelling the signal. It says A1N. There's quite a A1N. few. A1N. Yeah, so there's, there's three lanes that say A1N. So I take A1N. Yes, correct. So <laughs> this car is A1N lane one. Our lane is A1N two. And then that one on the right is A1 three. So three lanes is what I'm trying to say. One, silver Mercedes. Two, middle. Three, far right. So just make sure that you keep your one of the three ones. Does that make sense? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how you do this. Yeah. That's it, well done, that's you. You were the middle one and you stayed in the middle one. Excellent reactions, well done. They were a bit sketchy, weren't they? And Perfect. it's a light here Correct. as well. Correct, yep. What's your right, what's your right? We're drifting into the white car. Lovely. Very good. Well done. That was scary. Yes, very technical round. So you use that mid lane, you stay in the mid lane, you pull up the mid lane, it's very good. Do you remember if you just slide drifted into the white car? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh. Now, we do need to use a certain lane on this road if it's safe. Okay. What lane would be the lane that you can the first lane? Left. Correct, yes. Lovely. So if you do find yourself on this type of road yes. and it's safe, so it's straight from the right to the left, try your you go best. On the left. Yes. You don't need to, but eventually, at some point, try to get back to the left. Yeah. Is there a reason why? Or? Uh, yes. Uh, for overtaking or turning right, we use the right lane. Yes. Unless we're overtaking or turning right, we must use the left. That now will give the late direction again, so just let us know. Next roundabout, turning right, fourth exit. What? <laughs> Increase your speed. Good. It will help with the lane. Yeah. After 800 yeah. yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A411, Barnard Road. Very good again. Lovely, nice lane changing, well done. And you're keeping that speed going, which can be useful. Obviously, this chapter we can't do it, but it does. It's going to help with the lane changing. Well done. The sign says Barnet, you don't need to see it, but I'll just mention it. Then I'll ask you to follow that sign. A411. It is, yes, yeah, very good picking up on the numbers, they can be useful. You might see that in the lane. So this is the Sterling. Correct, you got it. Yes, it is. This is the Sterling. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A411, <laughs> Barnard Road. Emergency stop. Almost, yeah. Longer 
Lovely, oh yeah. Good identification, yeah. So you're using this red light wisely, you're planning your, you know, your action, and then you do it. About the line on the left. You see this line on the left? Just stick with the square. Left. Stick with the square. Yeah, you see how we've gone into the right? Am I not so going there? We are, yeah. Oh, so spiral round the belt. So if you look oh, to the line on the left. Take the exit, A411, Barnet Road. Hang on, my sitter. Cool. And then just take the next left here where the red car is into the petrol station. Thank you very much. All right, and then just uh, reverse into one of these bays here for me, please. Reverse. Yeah, so you just go to the fuel. See, it says fuel. Just come stop us on that okay. arrow, and then reverse into one of the bays. Lovely. Thank you. Excellent blind spot checks. Understanding of the camera, good control, nice and smooth. Good job. Lovely. You can activate it by either pressing this if you want to see the camera. This one. Yeah. Well, there is a button. I'll show you the button afterwards. It's a little ramp there. Oh, is there? Okay. Alright, this is good to go. Lovely. Relax. And you can push the power button if you like. And congrats, you would have passed this one as well.